to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree dupe for you. I'm taking Dollar Tree products and I'm going to recreate some things I've seen or an item I've seen on Pinterest and it looks like they are they are being sold or have been sold at Anthropology and Urban Outfitter. So I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. If you saw the thumbnail, you'll know what I'm making. Um, I will insert some pictures here of the inspiration pieces. <laughs> like a basket boho wall and this is gonna go with it and it's something I can do here so on uh, the materials I'm gonna need glue sticks always my glue gun which is an ad tech hybrid cordless I get a lot of questions about this glue gun you can put batteries in it um, and then take it on the go I don't but you can um, tweezers are helpful and then from the Dollar Tree, I got one of these tiny mirrors. And this mirror is, well, I think it's like a six to a seven inch mirror. I think the mirror itself is a six inch. And then the raffia that I purchased the other day. And that is it for this project. Um, yeah, let me readjust the camera and I will show you what I'm doing. I will write, so I need to get into the mirror. off we're gonna be working on the back of the mirror I've got my hot glue gun warming up and then I have all my raffia over here separated and I have my coffee please don't forget the coffee now what I'm doing is I'm gonna put some fringe on the back of the mirror so you can oh, there's my phone so you can see it from the front side so the first process I'm doing is cutting this raffia down. And for you, it's going to determine how long you want your fringe. I'm, I'm cutting mine pretty small because I like a smaller proportion. So what I'm doing, sorry, it's a little hard with my arm here, folding it in half, cutting, folding in half again. I'm cutting. You could pre-cut all this, but I feel like it's so fly away, it would just end up everywhere. All right, cutting it again, and then I go one more time because this is how tiny of the fringe I want. But again, it's up to you. If you want longer fringe, you go for it. And I think proportionately to the size mirror that you're using. Now, we'll leave that here. That's how I'm going to hang it. It's a bit tedious, I'm not going to lie getting this to stick, but what I'm doing is I put a blob of glue down and then I'm taking a couple pieces at a time and I'll move the camera closer for the next one. And I'm just sticking it in this glue. And I'm gonna end up doing two rows. So for now, I'm just sticking it. And then when if it gets long, like I'm gonna go back and trim it. And then we're gonna do one more layer Oops. get that down in there and I'm just stuffing this raffia into the glue letting it kind of set up a minute and then I'll stick my finger in it and smoosh it down and like I said if it doesn't all stick it's fine now that should be cool enough I'm just kind of pushing it and then I run my finger that way and it really pushes it in good. And then finally, I top it off. And all that's going to do is hopefully attach, you know. And what you're getting on the front side is raffia. And then, like I said, I'll go back and trim off the pieces. Now, it doesn't look very good now, but we're going to go all the way around. So I pre-cut one more. But let me bring you closer so I can show you how I'm gluing this in. All right, I hope you're getting a better view here. So I had already cut this one earlier. I don't think you wanna sit here and watch me do all the cutting. So 
I'm taking the hot glue and I'm just making a blob here. And then I'm grabbing just a couple pieces at a time. And you really want to snug them up against what you just laid down a minute ago. And this is also where the tweezers will come in handy if you need to, you know, start pushing things closer. And then maybe this isn't getting filled in as much. So I'll go back, cut some more, and stick them in. But for right this second, that's what I'm doing. And some of these raffi are pretty thin, and so you will get a thinner section. All right, now, I push it down, and I kind of just run my finger, and sometimes they don't stick, and if that's the case, it's fine. Uh, but this one will attach when I add my blob of glue on top. And that's part of the reason that I add more glue on the top. And then we're going to go all the way around. I'll cut one more for you. So this one's nice and long. So I'm coming down to this end, trimming it. And then I'm going to match up these ends. And if they're not perfect, that is okay. Because what, like I said, we go back in the end and we trim it. And one more. There we go. Now I have to attach these. And once these are dry, I'll flip it over and see if I need to um, go back in and add more raffia. I want it to look full. And then see here like that one, I want it to stick in there. Just take a little tweezer. Keep yourself from being burnt. bunch of raffia just so I know I have enough to fill in this one spot and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix the front and finish this back so same process I done all the way around I'm just getting a little piece of it and kind of smushing it up against the um, what I've already done and you just really want to make sure that you've got it in here full. And the last little bunch is kind of a challenge, but you know what, I just use all the glue. Now, if you can notice, my raffia is a different color. I opened up a new little bundle, and that's kind of the chance you take with raffia. You're gonna get different coloration, and so I'm gonna fix that as soon as I get all this in here. There we go. So I think that's good. Just gonna push it down in there and just get it in the glue, which is oh, not stick to your finger, but that's okay. I have extra pieces over here, like I said. Um, you know, you're gonna do this much neater than I am <laughs> because you're not gonna have one arm. But there we go. This is on the back. I'm okay with that. And if you can see here, it's a little long because the raffi is not even, but I just kind of wait to the end and go back and trim. And if you can see where I changed the color, which is okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just do finish this up here. And I'm putting a ton of glue on the back of this because I don't want this raffia to come loose. 
So this is just gonna hold it in place. All right, let me let this dry. I do have a secondary one and I'm gonna bring it over and show you how I'm gonna paint it. I grabbed my Deco Art Gold Metallic and I'm gonna just dry brush a little bit on the raffia and some on the frame. I wanna tone down this black a little bit. And this is the second one I made. Um, I did make two just because I'm an even number kind of girl. All right, so we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna come over here and offload it. So we're gonna like, just kind of do a little dry brushing around this gold black and I'm hoping you'll be able to see how subtle it's going to be right here. Um, I just don't want it to cover it. I want it to look more burnished, if that makes sense. Just to break up all this black. There is a lot of black on here. So I'm kind of just, and I mean sloppily, putting this on. I really want the sparkle and not necessarily the coverage, which is kind of fun. And because it's so black, I really don't have to dry it off on here, I noticed. But let me get, oops. And I'm gonna get a little in here and I'll go back and clean the glass before it dries on the mirror and get some out here and some out here. Now, I'm gonna take a little more of this paint and I'm literally just touching it on the raffia. Nothing, I'm not coloring the raffia I am just touching it with this paint to give it a little sparkle. Um, there's gonna be a whole lot of um, wicker on my wall. And I feel like this piece here, these are gonna break up all that wicker, which is really what I want it to do. So that is it. Just a little touch here and there and making it my own. And once I have them both complete, I'll give you a better close-up. But I hope you enjoyed my little take on an anthropology um, urban outfitter fringed mirror. And I'll be back. I won't have them on the wall, but I will show you when they're both finished. We'll be back.